Hello guys, welcome to Jeff's Garage Adventures. You like tools? This is your channel. I do lots and lots of tool reviews, most of the middle of the road, and some low end and high end sprinkled in as well. I also do some car tech tips and repairs. I do a lot of middle, middle of the road tools for the main reason, not many channels do middle of the road tools. You see a lot of Snap-on, Cornwell, Mac, Mac Oak, you know, a lot of guys can't afford those tools. You know, the weekend warrior, DIYer, uh, part timer, this is, what, this is what this channel is mostly about. Not to say I don't do high-end tools. I do sometimes. What do we got here today? Seda. Seda is in the house. Ratchet set. Quarter-inch, three-eighths, and half-inch drive. You get all three ratchets. 72 tooth. The model number is ST14901G. They're around $32 on Amazon. Those prices fluctuate. A lot of times I'll do a review. Either it'll sell these out or the price goes up. Go figure, right? Amazon's crazy. But it's it's true. It's what happens a lot. I don't. I just it just does. They are made in Taiwan. I say that they, where are they made? Well, they're made in Taiwan. And this is the package. The packaging it came in. Lifetime warranty. I never did a uh, warranty claim on Seda, so I can't verify how great that would be. They're part of the Apex Tool Group. A lot of you guys already know that, but that's I'm showing people that don't know, and that's why we're doing it. Where's it say? It's made in Taiwan. Uh, right there, product of Taiwan. Okay, 72 tooth to me is a sweet spot. I do like 90, you know, and I do like the 120 XPs, gear wrench, but it's rare that I like anything over 100 tooth. Let's pull one of these bad boys up. Seda is in the house. Let's take a gander. They got the dual uh, composite comfort grip, like a lot of comfort grips are made out of. That green's a soft, soft rubber. Feels good in the hands. I like the way Seda stands out. And the yellow is a harder composite. There's a name stamped in it. It is the push button release for the sockets. The reverse lever is recessed. This is an unboxing, even though I've had them for like, oh, I don't know, two months. <laughs> I just never got around to them. And the head is just like gear wrench. You can see how it's sealed there with a snap-on ring that's just some oil i put a little bit of oil in some of these because they come bone dry from the factory really really small these are not bad they're they're basically a gear wrench clone let's put the socket on here and see how it feels it is a craftsman socket it is a little socket it feels all right push button works good the anvil there is a little bit of play in the anvil but that's typical with when you got a, this type of design. That's the nature of the beast. I do like the, revert, the lever, reverse lever being recessed. And what I do like about the push button release, it doesn't stick up match, much past the uh, face of the ratchet. A lot of the, your push button ones stick up a lot, and that's why a lot of guys don't like them. You can get caught on a fastener or an object or another whatever, you know. Not so much with these. These things come bone dry from the factory, guys. A lot of ratchets come bone dry. Is it because they save money? Or is it because it's environmental laws, regulations, when they come into this country from Taiwan and China? That's a good question worth, worth a debate, because I'm not sure why they do that. This one's not bad. I already put some uh, lube in it. I just squirted a couple drops of uh, engine oil. And uh, WD-30, I think it was, just to see if it loosened them up, and it did. This one's pretty good. You can use Super Lube. Uh, every ratch is different, guys. The finer tooth ones like a, uh, uh, a thinner oil, I find, and the uh, lower geared ones like more of a grease. Every ratch has got a personality. Sometimes you got to experiment for yourself and see what works best for your ratchet. So if somebody asks you what's best, what's best for so-and-so, I said sometimes you got to experiment. But this is pretty good now. All I did was put regular engine oil on it. Yes, it was brand new engine oil, guys. <laughs> this one's uh, not bad. And they are gear wrench clones. I got a 3H drive I want to show you. But look at, this one's not horrible anymore. You know, it wasn't that bad from the get-go, but they were, they were noisy. I didn't put nothing in that half-inch that half-inch drive one. I, I didn't think I didn't take it apart yet. I'm gonna do it in front of the camera and show you. I guarantee there's no lube in it. So that one's not too bad. The head's a good size. It's it's not a bad little ratchet. These are sleepers, guys. You know, they're basically a gear wrench clone for a third of the money. 
If you bought this set, it was 84 tooth gear wrench, it'd be triple that price. Here's a gear wrench next to it, same length. The handle looks very similar. Yes, they're all part of Apex umbrella. Underneath the, they come underneath the Apex umbrella. Very, very, they're so similar, it's crazy. And this is a third of the price of the gear wrench. Is gear wrench three times better than say it is? No. Not even close. Here's a 3H drive. Even the head, the head sizes are almost, almost identical size. I put a caliper on them, they're almost exactly the same size. So if you're a weekend warrior, DIYer, just starting out, guys, you don't got a lot of money, this is a brand that I would consider. Let's put a socket on here. Let's try the anvil first before I do that. Quite a bit of play. That's common. I bet you that gear wrench is the same way. And this gear wrench, the gear wrench moves about the same. That's just nature of that type. When you see a snap ring with a thin, a, a thin plate like that, face plate, those things always got a lot of play in them. Just my thoughts. I put a little bit of oil on this one. This one's, this one's a lot better. Feels pretty good. No binding, no skipping. I know it's not the best way to show back drag, but we're working on that. I like these ratchets, tell you the truth. For $32, you can't beat that price with a stick. Can you hear it click? We're going to look at the half-inch drive one here, and I'm going to take this one apart. I didn't have, I didn't have it apart. Here's the half-inch drive, drive one, and no, I, this one's clanky. Can you hear it? There's no oil on it. I guarantee it. Same amount of play in the anvils, the other ones. Good starter set for a guy just getting into working on his own stuff. That's how I feel. I'm going to take the snap ring off here and see what we got inside. I got my old O2 OTC snap ring players. That's an awesome set, guys. I did a video on that. See how easy I pull that off? I typically take a magnet so I don't I don't lose anything. I'll take a little magnet. This is a Craftsman one. Let me see if I can get that for you in here a little better. And I'll pull off that plate. There's a face plate. There's a little bit of oil in there, not much. Not much. And he's got an O-ring inside too. I kid you not. They got an O-ring inside. I don't know if you can see it. There's an O-ring around around the uh, Anvil down here low. Look at that. There's nothing in there for lube, guys. That's part of the problem. Let's pull that gear out. Very. If there's any lube in this one, it's very, very little. There is a teeny, teeny bit. Look at. Not much lube at all. That's crazy, hey. Let me see what I got here. Give me a minute here. Running across the shop. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in this, see if it quiets it down. All I do is put a little bit of oil on here. Not much, just a little bit. Now you can see it. That's just, this is regular engine oil, is all it is. Put a few more drops in it. Spin it around. Let's see if we get this back together for you. Can you see that on camera? A little bit. Let's see if we can get it back together for you. Sometimes you take ratchets apart, they go apart easy. Come apart easy, but they're hard to put back together. <laughs> There's a little thin face plate there. You can see that there. Let's put that back in there. I'm just curious if the oil is going to help help it. That's engine oil. I never had it, I never experimented with the SATAs yet. You know, they might not like engine oil. You might have to go with a super loop. But I'm experimenting here too, guys, so. 
Did you hear that click? I got it back together. Let's put a socket on here. Yeah, it's quieter. I think it's quieter. Probably spin it in a drill. I think it's better already than it was. Sounds better than it did without any oil in there. Hmm. Well, that was easy enough to take apart, put back together, guys. What do you think? I think it's a little better. I'll probably have to put it in a drill. I'm not gonna do it in this video on, on this video, but they're worth a look. If you do get them to come bone dry, I can tell you that right now. And revert or very little oil as you saw. Uh, but they're not a bad, they're not a bad, not a bad ratchet. Um, this is one of the, two, the tool sets that's in my giveaway that I'm, that we're currently doing. And uh, so if somebody picks this, I'll give, I don't know, I'll probably give you another brand new set because these have, these are been used now. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and uh, let me know if you guys have any SATA ratchets or tools. It's a brand that a lot of people don't look at. I don't know why. It's not a, it's a third of the price of gear wrench. A third of the price of gear wrench and it looks like the same same ratchet. I kid you not. All right, guys. Have a great day and take care.